if you're wondering how to do the hand look quilt stitch number 28 on the Faf Ambition 610, the key is in the clear thread that we put in the needle. Now, before we get into this, number one, it is a manipulated stitch, but it's gonna look like you did it by hand if you only look at the front of your project. Next, clear thread if you are using an older kind of clear thread, invisible thread. Uh, things have gotten a lot better over the years, so make sure you're using a good quality newer spool. Number two, this is actually on a thread stand right now, and I have threaded my thread up to the guide and then over to the first guide of my machine. The thread stand is gonna help that thread become more tame. Clear thread, when it's put on the horizontal spool pin, can often get like curled up and tangled at the spool. And it's not your machine's fault, and it's not really the thread's fault, but it just needs to be uh, guided in a smoother way. And a thread stand is always my answer. So if you're ever working on thread that's not behaving, um, tr like metallic thread, like this thread, I highly recommend recommend getting a thread stand to put beside your machine. So stitch number 28, when you look at it, where you have zero A foot on, we do have the IDT, but what in the world is this? That is the tension turned all the way up to eight. So here's how this works, is whatever color you want the hand stitching to look like, you're going to put that in your bobbin. So I've got pink thread in my bobbin, clear thread in the top. Well, if you've got a tension at eight, you're going to find that that thread is dragged up to the top of the fabric and then created a little stitch and then there's a space where it will look like there's no stitch. Well, that's the clear thread spacing it out and then it does it again. It pulls up that bobbin thread and stitches again. Here is how it's going to look. When you start to stitch, you may not see the stitches come up right away, but they will. So just keep stitching. Now I'm stitching on like a batting, like almost like a miniature quilt where I could actually see this being stitched by hand. Um, it's actually kind of fun. Let's just turn a quick little corner so you can see. It almost looks like a little row of ants, of course, but it works. So remember, if your IDT is on, it's gonna keep all your batting and everything smoothly uh, running. You're gonna find on the back that you do have that extra line because it is the bobbin thread. But on the front, you're gonna notice it really looks good and can look like a hand stitch, even though you didn't take that much time to do it and you did it all on your sewing machine.